If you have skin, if you have a body, if you have armpits and you plan to go anywhere outside during the summer, number one, you need sunscreen to avoid this from happening, which yes, actually happened to me on a day that I forgot sunscreen in California. Bad cast cast, bad. But there are some non-sunscreen summer essentials that every humanoid absolutely needs, especially if you are like me and you struggle with the body acne. Look at this pimple. Look at this pimple just begging to be healed. I wasn't gonna pop it and then I accidentally kind of purposely popped it. <laughs> there are some products that I feel are absolute necessities for summer. And if you are going swimming, if you are going outside, if you want to wear dresses or basically anything, these are three staples that either enhance the way your sunscreen works to actually make it more powerful and work better for your skin, or to help your skin with things like body acne, things like ingrown hairs that can be not only something that prevents us from wearing swimsuits or backless dresses, but that also are physically painful. Like how can you sit down at a barbecue if it hurts to sit because you have folliculitis on your butt. Okay? Okay, I speak from personal experience. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's start there with the ingrown hairs and the folliculitis. If you have legs, if you have armpits, if you have a friend who has armpits, this is an absolute must. This is from Topicals and this is the ingrown tonic. It's basically a lotion for all of these places that get ingrowns. And no, I didn't totally shave my armpits before today, but they're not that bad. Stop judging, okay? Hey, there was a time I grew out my armpit hair, so it's better than that. <laughs> and this ingrown hair tonic is not only great for armpits, but it is great for legs, for bikini areas, even for my chinny chin chin when I get like really bad ingrowns because yes, I have a couple of wiry whiskers that grow out of my chin. Yay, genetics! But this high roller from Topicals is so freaking good. It has exfoliating ingredients like salicylic and glycolic acid that are phenomenal for ingrown hairs. Now these do exfoliate, so of course you need to use this at night or with a sunscreen or in areas that the sun don't shine. And let me tell you, there are a lot of areas that the sun doesn't shine that get ingrowns and they are so painful. And if you have them like, you might not want to wear a swimsuit. It might look a way that you dislike, or honestly, it can feel terrible. Have you ever worn a bikini on your bikini line when you have ingrown hairs? <laughs> it hurts so freaking bad. And even if you don't shave, you can get ingrowns. This is absolutely phenomenal. Now, on top of the salicylic and glycolic acid, this also has zinc PCA and niacinamide. So this actually helps with the redness and the irritation and basically those little purple marks that these bumps and these ingrowns can leave behind. And if you are someone who shaves, this absolutely has to be in your shaving routine. You can apply it on dry skin right when you get out of the shower. Be careful because if you apply it right after shaving, it could sting if you nicked your skin. But as long as you didn't nick your skin, you can put this right over the area that you get those ingrowns and this helps to prevent them and also treat the existing ones. I absolutely love this. Topicals is founded by two badass women, by the way. Um, for those who didn't know, they actually started this brand out of their apartment. They were literally stacked floor to ceiling with product and they launched on TikTok. And they were one of the first partially black owned beauty brands that got more than $10 million in funding. And for some people, at least for me, when I hear numbers that big, I'm just like 1 million, 10 million, that's big money. I don't like have a concept of how much that actually is. But for a black, an Asian owned brand to get that kind of funding is unheard of. And the fact that Topicals was given that means that not only do customers love it, but the industry sees that they're doing something good as well. And I absolutely love this. It doesn't leave me sticky either. Like I can flap my wings happily. And um, if I raise my hand, I don't have these ingrowns that are poking out. I absolutely love this. And if you are going anywhere this summer and you happen to have shaved or you have ever had an ingrown, this leaves your legs and your underarms and your bikini area and even your chinny chin chin super smooth, super soft, and ingrown free. If only it was free. It was worth it. <laughs> Number two, boo boo, body acne sprays. Paula's Choice coming through with the body acne spray. Listen, if you are someone who has pimples, especially on your chest and back, a salicylic acid spray goes so far. A lot of times when it comes to body acne, these are in areas that we sweat. Our sebaceous glands here are a little bit more active and they're actually really hard to treat. But if you have something that you can just spray on, it makes it so freaking easy. And I can just spray this on and be like, Bam, go away, uh, and then maybe it'll listen. Now there are many different body acne sprays. There's one from Acne Free that I love that's from Drugstore. There's one from Sandra Lee MD that I love that is really great and made by a dermatologist. I do love this one from Paula's Choice. It is affordable, it is silky on the skin. It doesn't leave me overly sticky the way some other body acne sprays do. And this also has licorice extract. So similar to the ingrown hair tonic, this has an ingredient that prevents the hyperpigmentation. So if your pimples are red and irritated like this, it helps to treat existing acne 
acne, prevent new acne from forming, and then it helps with the redness for a mother <laughs> like this that just want to steal your attention away from your cute swimsuit and make you look at this instead. Speaking of swimsuits, there are some non-sunscreen summer staples when it actually comes to clothing. For example, have you seen Cover Swim swimsuits? Literally, you look like the sexiest non-scuba diving scuba diver that ever was at the poolside. It is the coolest swimsuit. There's also ones that I've gotten off of Amazon that have pineapples. Pineapples! It's a sun protective pineapple suit. I love it. Anything that has a halter top, kind of like this dress that I'm currently wearing, or kind of like this little halter top that I love, is perfect for summer. They are open on the shoulders, so they still show a little bit of skin. You still need sunscreen there, but you're still protecting this neck area that tends to get a ton of skin damage, and it often shows skin damage because the skin here can be delicate. Halter tops are amazing, and if you can find good ones, these are perfect for summer. Same with dresses, dresses that have a little halter top and pockets. I literally have an entire list. And you know, I also have my little gloves. These are specifically UPF. If you're looking for clothing that protects from the sun, look for UPF. UPF is basically the clothing version of SPF. And these gloves are some of my favorites. I've also got the long ones and I've got the hats, but I feel like we might need to do like a little summer fashion try on haul for another day. Because although these clothes are amazing, I'm not about to get changed on camera. We can save that for another day and keep it PG-13. <laughs> But one of the absolute summer staples that enhances sunscreen, makes it work better, and is phenomenal for skin, is something that I don't see a lot of people utilizing. And if you have a sunscreen in your routine, which <laughs> I hope you do, <laughs> don't we know this by now? You should also have some step in your morning routine that is an antioxidant. Antioxidants are fantastic. And if you look at the word, it is anti or not. Oxidant, oxidation, damage, literally the damage from the sun from pollution, from the environment. And of course, antioxidants are not a replacement for sunscreen. You still need sunscreen. But if you use antioxidants under your sunscreen, it can help make your sunscreen more efficacious and protect your skin even more. There are tons of different antioxidants that you can use. Even vitamin C is an antioxidant, one of our favorites. But you want something that works with your sunscreen and doesn't pill or ball up. If you want a video on some of the best antioxidants for under sunscreen use, happy to do that. But there's a little something here that is an antioxidant serum that I was not expecting to love and I got it at Target, and um, I thought that I had been trying this line for a year. It's actually been two years, which, um, Q coronavirus, time flies. But this is the Skincare by Hiram. Oh yes, this is the Skincare by Hiram. The little bottle still pisses me the f off for someone who constantly fumbles with her dexterity, but holy this formula is good. This is the Peptide Q10 and Ginger Serum, and this is an antioxidant serum that has Q10, aka ubequinone, as well as ginger. And I was not expecting this to lay so well under my sunscreen, to feel so hydrating, and to boost the effects of my sunscreen, but baby, baby, it did. This is an amazing antioxidant serum, especially if you want to wear it under sunscreen where it doesn't ball up. Some other great options are some toners and essences from K-Beauty. There are some serums such as snail mucin serum that's actually made from yams. This is a vegan snail mucin serum that is phenomenal, filled with antioxidants. Even Paula's Choice has some antioxidant-rich products that are amazing. And of course, you can't forget The Ordinary's Pycnogenol. If you want to spend little money with big impact, The Ordinary's Pycnogenol, it literally smells like a camping trip from my childhood on the California coastline, literally putting a mattress in the back of my parents' SUV, four people cramming our ass in there, opening the hatchback, and burning marshmallows on a fireplace at a campsite that we decided to park at next to everyone else who had their fancy mother RVs. Oh my gosh, such fun memories as the child of immigrants and such a nostalgic smell from the ordinary. I love the Pycnogenol. But this one from Skincare by Hiram, I really love it. I love that it's at Target. I love that the cost is cheaper. This one is way more affordable than the other serums that can be used day and night. But as long as you're using an antioxidant serum, your acne big sis is happy. And my name is Cassie and I love cappy blappies and I have acne on my backy. So I'm done f***ing rhyming. I'm gonna drink more coffee. I do want you to remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Again, these are some of my faves. Do reapply that SPF because none of this matters if you don't wear that sunscreen. Otherwise you're gonna end up looking like this and I do not want to relive this. No, thank you. And overall, always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.